What's up everybody? Today we will be speaking on another type of ETF, an ARK Invest ETF. After an ambitious statement, an ambitious price target has been predicted for Tesla. We would be shortly speaking on the statement and we would go in further detail on the ARK Innovation ETF with the ticker ARKK. So this was one of the best performing ETFs for 2020. And one has to listen to ARK Invest CEO Katie Wood, who was managing this fund. And the price target for Tesla was quite an ambitious one for 2025. It's aiming at a price target for a bull case of $4,000 per share. The duration as well at the bear case is $1,500 per share in just four years time. Now at the moment Tesla's trading at 670, so that would be more than doubling in such a short time. But the expected value or the bull case is 3000 or more. And the scenarios which are being presented here are quite ambitious ones. It's taking into account that the bear scenario Tesla produces more than 10 times the amount which is producing at the moment and more than 20 times or 20 times or more the, the amount which is producing at the moment. It's quite an ambitious target and it's also estimating a revenue of a third of a trillion dollars in the bull case which is a mammoth amount. Taking into consideration that Tesla will fully achieve automation within five years time and it also is considering the fact that you would have these robo taxis in a scenario whereby taxis would be no longer driven by people but automatically going from A to B collecting people and uh, and doing the taxi work so they're doing a likelihood um, a very high likelihood that Tesla would be producing and would be working in such scenario. So what do you think about this statement? Do you think that it is too ambitious or do you agree to Katie Wood's price target? Let me know in the comments below. In the next section we would be going directly to ARKK, the ETF. And starting from the objective, this ETF has the target, the objective of long-term growth of capital with a management fee of 75 basis points. Its principal investment strategy is that of investing in disruptive technology and in companies which are changing the way which we live. This ETF has holdings in companies which are relatively new as we would be seeing in the top holdings so as at today 22nd march 2021 arc invest the innovation etf by rkk has top holdings in tesla square teladoc health roku zillow baidu spotify crispr shopify and zoom video communications these are the top 10 holdings which the company incorporates 3% or more as a holding as you are seeing it's highly shifted to the tech industry so that is why in 2020 it performs in an incredibly good way as uh, you're seeing also the number of holdings is circa 56 and uh, of course these are companies which are innovative, which are doing very well, but things may change and uh, if the industry is hit badly, the CTF would be hit, it would be hit badly. So as stated, diversification is very diverse with top holdings in e-commerce, digital media, cloud computing and gene therapy. The majority of the companies are in healthcare or IT or communication services with the predominantly geographic breakdown in North America. Now, as we're seeing in the performance, 
this fund had an incredible performance. 2020 was the best year of the fund. Everyone had invested simply $10,000 in 2015. The returns would be more than sevenfold to $70,000. And this is an ETF. So since inception, the annual return has been that of 36% per annum, which is simply incredible. Of course, here it's in bold that past performance does not guarantee future results. And of course, things can go either way. This fund has been around since October, end of October in 2014. And as you are seeing, the vast majority of gains have been in 2020, which was a winner's year for this fund. The innovation industry and the innovation sector was the biggest winner thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I hope you found this video interesting. Please don't forget to leave a like or subscribe or both. Uh, this video takes loads of time to produce, so I would really appreciate it. Let me also know in the comments what you think about this fund.